back to our channel. I know you've been missing this face. Oh god, I've even missed my face on this channel. Yes, for a while. But not to worry. I'm back and I'm back and I'm back and I'm back. So for those coming in for the first time, you are welcome to this channel. Yes, for those returning subscribers, we love you. We love you. Far we love everybody. We love everybody. Uh, we we yes, you know now I'm two no two but one I can't stop like that. So the, the brother is not here today. It's only the sister that is present. Okay, right about now I'm going to be talking briefly on something that has been on my mind. Yes, it has been a burden for me and I've been looking for ways to share it out, especially to um my ladies out there are preparing for their weddings. Yes, this video is dedicated to you and to you that you're not prepared for a wedding but you're anticipating it. Yes, just put it at the back of your mind, somewhere around your mind, somewhere where you can easily assess it, okay? Okay, so I'm going to be talking about the favor of God in planning weddings, planning and executing your plans for your weddings. Okay, some persons might come to this um, video and say wedding wedding is not the main thing the main thing is marriage yes i totally agree with you but the truth is that god wants us to be happy okay so for every occasion in our lives he wants us to be happy when jesus attended the wedding uh, he would have said ah the wedding the wedding at cana he would have said ah the wedding is not important it's marriage so no need to turn what time to wine everybody should go home but to that's to show you that god is interested in every detail of our lives so this is what's making me to talk about weddings marriage is very important don't get me wrong but your wedding day is also important but not as important as marriage so i'm going to talk i'm going to be talking about favor and marriage and personally i'll use myself and how god helped me okay and um the things i learned through those periods so um and you know when you prepare for weddings we feel that the things we need or the thing we need like very 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 very, very well is money but my dear ha it's not only money you need though you don't need only money to prepare for your wedding as a groom as a bride to be you don't need only money do you get you need the favor of god i'm not talking about financial favors only now i'm talking about favor favor uh, of men favor of uh, i don't know resources resources not just the money you know there are some things that it's not cash you need some kind of resources i don't know how to put it but you understand what i'm saying yeah i know you understand what i'm saying but at this point you 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 need the favor of god at this point in your life right now i'm talking to you that's planning for your wedding you need the favor of god like for example i said i'm going to visit myself as a as a what now specimen for for what i'm doing don't mind me when i was planning for my wedding you know it took me it took me some time to understand this fact i'm about to say that's why i'm not so i'm not hesitating to share with you there were some things that happened that to some persons it might not really be so so important or they might say ah what's that but to me it made sense at that point you know it made sense at that point yes god gave us money god gave us financial favors but there were some persons that god placed at strategic points that helped us that at that point money could not help us to do anything for example i wanted to go to a place somewhere in nigeria Aba, to get um fabrics okay where where i come from i'm evil where, where i come from you have to get of course for traditional marriage you have to get some you know ankara and all that george and all that depending on the kind of person but that is what i got so at that time i have never been to a battle shop before and i was going with my mom for the first time with my mom i've been to a bar, but not for that reason so we got on our way 
like <laughs> you know two people that are going for something that they don't even know where to stop if we get to the back end okay where are we to stop what are we to say so along the road we saw one of our friends church member too and she, we got talking, she asked us, where are you saying we are going to about, obviously. He said, okay, what do you want to get in about? We said, fabrics. Ah, she said, that's what she's going to get. So I said, oh, God, God is good. Do you know that this lady left what she came to do in Abba um, and to help us get everything we needed that concerned fabric? And guess what? That day it was raining. Like, we shocked under the rain. She joined us to, she didn't join us, we joined her because we didn't know where we were going to. She took us to everywhere we needed to go and got the best of what was there. So if she was not there at that point, we would have, you know, missed it at some point. <laughs> Maybe we would have hiked the price and we wouldn't know, you know, or we would have gotten something of lower quality for a very high price. I will just carry like that and come. So at that point, it made sense to me that God sent her to come. God, she didn't even know what the occasion was. So she didn't know what we were getting the material for and uh, the fabrics for. But she was just so willing to help and take us round until we finished getting all we needed. That was beautiful. It was amazing. Like that was the help we needed at that point. So you might say, his money and all that. What if you go and meet the wrong person? You know, brides, uh, brides are always so emotional and any spot here, your wedding day, tears will just start around your face and all that. Especially when things are spoiling. God does not want things to spoil. I want you to understand that God is very interested in every little detail of your life. So he wants that day to be very special and go well. That's why we need to consciously ask for the favor of God. Favor of God. He should send help us. Okay. I don't know if you saw my uh, wedding pictures. My makeup was, my God. Like I felt on top of the world. Oh God. My makeup was on fleek. On fleek. Thanks to Mimi Touch. Please, you need to contact that lady. She's... She's, she's, she's it. Let me just put it like that. She is it. Do you know, before the wedding proper, I talked with her. She just costed everything. If you see the amount there, I was like, hell God. Like, the other people I con uh, asked, they were telling me something like five times what she charged me. I, I said, okay, that was favor on its own. I was just so calm and quiet. So after my trad, she did my pre-wedding pics, makeup, it was beautiful, my trad and white wedding. So white wedding, after the white wedding, I just met her. I said, I don't have cash, I'm going to transfer the money to you. Do you know what this beautiful lady told me that I should forget it? Jesus Christ, like, like, Chinima made me to cry. I was like, are you serious? Like, I should forget? I should forget? Paying for the makeup I had during my trap and my white wedding, like it was unbelievable. It was unbelievable. I couldn't believe it. I saw God at work. Like I have so many, so many testimonies, so many testimonies. My dresses, it was, it was amazing. God just placed people that just stood and they were just showing me favor. If I tell you how much I, I paid for all my dress, my trad, my uh, uh, reception dress, if I tell you how much, you will not even believe it. And it was so lovely and beautiful. That's how God surprised me. Because at that point, you know, you know some people say, I, I have people. Ah, when I was praying for my wedding, I told my friend, I said, I don't have people, so who will I call for cake? Who will I call for dress? Who will I call for hair? Who will I call? You know, people just some people just have those things all planned out. I didn't have. I thought I didn't have, but God placed them strategically at every point. My dear, truth be told, my white wedding was. I was okay with my white wedding. My wedding, I was okay with it. I had no reason to fret or cry. My wedding gown is missing, or the veil got torn, or my shoes spoiled, or something. Like, 
it was beautiful i finished okay that day we finished that day and i had to with a grateful heart tell god thank you i had my best day i didn't have to cry nothing like oh my flower or bouquet something happened to you that happened to you that happened to you somewhere no no there was nothing like that not because i had all the money no that's what i want you to understand it's not because i had all the money it was because god's favor was on my life do you understand it was because god's favor was on my life i'm just saying me i'm, I'm not even talking about my husband like we had things that people just did for us you know just did i'm not just doing it though doing it well you know the difference between somebody doing something for you free of charge and doing it well because if this lady that made me up she already knows that she was not going to take money she has not done anything i was the one even telling her it's okay oh, it's okay it's okay like she gave me god my god like it was it was amazing so god placed this move strategically for us and we had the best we had the best is it the food <laughs> Is it the food? We had the best. And that day went beautifully well. All of us were all happy. And God took the glory. And God will forever take the glory for that day. So that's why I'm making this video all. That's why I'm saying this to you. That you don't only need money, baby girl. You don't only need money. Husband man. Husband to be man. <laughs> you don't only need money. You need the favor of God. You need God to place people strategically for you, to help you, to assist you. You can't keep running around for, do you know, beautifully, when it was time, it was approaching, uh, my wedding was approaching, I didn't reduce. People were like, uh, you reduce, you need my shit, this one, your wedding dress shelter you. I didn't reduce. I was so stressed because God placed people. I used to hear wedding uh, 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 brides in the morning, they'll give them milk and milk. Some people will faint, some people will slump. What's that? Is that God's will for us? I don't think so. God is not one kind of father that is waiting, wants you to be so stressed that you fall on the ground. No, 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 no. He, he, he's our Ebenezer. He's our help. So that's why he's there. That's why he's placed, he has placed people. Do you understand? Yes, I know you understand me. That's why he has placed people. So you call for that help. That's what you do. Call for that favor. I didn't have any reason to stop. I didn't have any reason to have low blood, whatever. This one, my eyes turning me. I want to die tomorrow. Nah. I was okay and smiling to my wedding day. After my wedding day, I was so stressed. That stress of moving around, getting so only you want to get this, only you, this one, only you, this one, only you, this one. It means that you don't have help. I'm not talking of help like a PAO. It means that you don't have help, help from God. Because it's God that we make men to raise your hands like Aaron and Hor did for Moses until the battle is won. So, as you prepare for your wedding, for those preparing for their weddings, and those that are anticipating, have this at the back of your mind. That you don't only need money, you need the help of God. You need favor from God. You need favor from God. He alone gives that favor. So that when you come out from that day and you're smiling and happy, you're not coming out for your wedding day too stressed to go to church on Sunday. Do you understand? You're coming out for your wedding too stressed to go to church on Sunday because you can't lift your leg. You can't lift your head. Your head is banging. Your legs cannot even move. Because of stress. No. That's, I don't think that's what God wants. Yes. So, as you pray, or as you plan, as you move around, understand this. That's not only money you need. You need the favor of God. And I want to pray for my single ladies. I always have it at the back of my mind. That God will not just help you. He will give you the right spouse. Okay? To give the right spouse that is also what's this word again that can encourage you too and for my guys too god will give you the right spice that can spouse <laughs> spice i've been cooking a lot so food is on my head god will give you the right spice
spouse that can also encourage you because at that point in time you might want to lose it. I know there was uh, but uh, that, that would be in our subscribe video. There was a great challenge we faced, but it was just God. God helped us to help ourselves, okay? So God will help you with the right spouse. He will help you with the right spouse. What you just need to do is so listen. Listen. You know, listen. Let me just delve a little. You know, there, there is this thing that happens. You know, uh, people, I, I hate it when people come and say, yeah, the man is a wicked man. Can he call, can he call the man? He doesn't have this. But hey, lady, God cannot allow you to jump into a bad marriage without signs and warning. So as I'm praying for you to get the right spouse, you also need to open your ears and hear God. Yes. Hear God and do what he's saying. Okay? Same goes out to my guys too. Hear God. Listen to God and do what he's saying. Listen to God. Listen to God. And everything will be beautiful. You'll have a blissful marriage. And for those planning their weddings, Congratulations in advance. Anyone you want me to do actually before? Just call me. <laughs> all right. Okay, so I love you all. And I pray that God will keep on sustaining you and keeping you in the second friends of his love. All right. Take care of yourself. And we'll see in our subsequent video. God bless you.